Hello everybody and welcome back to the Escapist Alpha. Now, I had a bit of a problem with recording this, so this is post-commentary as opposed to uh, uh, while playing. Um, basically, this game crashed and I lost my audio recording. Now, they weren't related. That was just stupidity on my part, unfortunately, but uh, it appears that this game auto-saves, which is marvellous. Um, so, the 30 odd minutes I played of this game actually count, I just didn't have a recording to put over the top of it. So I'm going to keep this recording because we got a few bits and pieces done and I'm just going to do some commentary over the top of it. Now this is something I noticed logging off last time round. There are options and the options have the ability to turn the music down and the sound effects up. Oh, thank you very much, Christy. I'm really, really grateful you put this in. Okay, um, and a nice little example of how to do the controls there was to space to toggle attack and so on. So, uh, nothing we didn't know there, but it's really nice to see it printed out. So, back to the game. Okay, so. Um, one of my viewers pointed out to me that uh, the reason why uh, my character hasn't been doing any work is because uh, if you don't meet your quota you lose your job so later on I'm going to try to apply for a few jobs and I'm going to make a bit of a mess of it but uh, never mind you've just seen there the small jobs we've got left to do so we shall try to do those um, so as soon as uh, this is over, we'll have breakfast, and then I'm going to apply for a job. And doing so, I found a little bit of a bug. And the bug is unfortunately, if you apply for a job during the work period, you don't get the quota come up. And because the quota doesn't come up, it appears that you uh, lose the job at the end of the session. Which makes sense, unfortunately. Um, only a little bug there and I don't think it's really a scenario that probably came up in testing it's just when idiots like me get less loose on the code this is what happens so uh, um, this is what we uh, are going to do now we're going to eat our breakfast and now we're going to go and apply for a job so on we go I used to be a CEO you know well it's probably best you're locked up then isn't it Um, here we go. Job application, laundry, take the job, congratulations, it was we were approved. If you fail to meet your quota during the work period, the job will be removed. There you go, that's proof that that's true. So here I go into the laundry. And when I get there, you see no quota comes up. Okay, so I'm just going to use this opportunity to steal some uniforms. So I decided to give them a wash first, of course, wouldn't you? Now, uh, one of the, the comments that came up during the, um, after the last episode was the idea of uh, bleaching uniforms, which I believe creates a, a... If you bleach a uniform, it creates a set of white overalls. We'll try this again later on. What? does interest me is you can get ink as an item that's uh, floating around from time to time and I want to try taking a white set of overalls and uh, and staining them with ink see if I can get a guard uniform now I've already got guard uniforms but it's it's a crafting opportunity to try so there we go almost got caught there let's open that desk and hide these away okay so I think I steal that sock as well because I don't think I've got one. There we go, and the rest of the stuff is pretty, uh, pretty uh, standard. Um, the brick, I, the, the the sock, I'm really willing to bet you can get a, a brick or something to put in there, and you've got yourself an improvised weapon. Oh, missed breakfast there. Uh, anyone, anyone looking? Nobody. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. I was hoping to help them to their feet. You know, make them a little bit lighter by emptying their pockets. But the chance didn't come. Right. Yet another roll call. Uh, this is actually something I've been thinking about. It's 
this is the roll calls are something that uh, I think you're going to have to be taking into account whenever you do an escape attempt because the second that they do the roll call they are going to realize that you're missing so it's going to have to happen after the roll call or late at night so right I tried some uh, um, crafting recipes here based upon uh, one suggestion and that was if I remember um, a lighter a razor blade and it was a toothbrush and I remember I don't have a toothbrush so I, I, I think I'll try that again later on so here we go um, back to enjoying my free period and I decided to go and have a hunt through some desks I can't remember exactly why I did so um, I don't think it was related exactly to um, one of the jobs I think I was just looking for stuff uh, and as you can probably tell by the fact that I'm putting my mouse over these desks again I was probably giving saying the name of each person's desk as I went across it like an idiot I'd forgotten to uh, write down the desk names so I will try to remember to do so before the next episode of Wednesday because quite frankly I get bored watching this so I can't imagine that you guys are having too much fun doing it either so. So, there's Ronald's desk. Let's go and see what he's got. This. Oh dear. Right, anything useful? Nothing useful. I've got all of that. Yeah. And this is the point where I learned that you can actually run away from the guards if you are fast enough. Or, given my character stats, if you're the guard chasing you is slow enough. He's probably eaten all the pies, that one. So here we go, going to dinner, thinking we'll eat all the pies. Let's have a, a nice, wholesome plate of vaguely brown slop, whatever that may be. Okay, so let's have a look at the jobs. Find a pack of smokes for Ronald, retrieve Dana's dice from Steve, find a trail for Jared, retrieve Gary's book from Buster. Okay, um seem to recall I didn't really want to do any of those so um, I don't can't remember what I do next let's, let's, let's be surprised together shall we oh yeah I had a look around at some of the shops and see if there's anything here and I actually found something really quite interesting in one of these it was a sang I think it was yep yeah. crafting notes okay, which I'm presuming are instructions how to make items I was so tempted to buy this, but the thing is, I'm in the kitchen, and the kitchen, sorry, not in the kitchen, in the mess hall. The mess hall has a metal detector, and I believe the metal detector doesn't really detect metal, it detects contraband. So if you walk through it with anything you're not supposed to have, the guards come up and beat you up and take it away from you. So, here we are. I was so emboldened by my success running away from that guard, I decided to build up speed a little bit. Um, Given what I've learned, it's probably the uh, the stat that I'll pay the least amount of attention to, working on strength and intelligence instead. But here we go, and off to the showers. Still looking for a chance to catch up with Sang here, but it doesn't happen. And yeah, oh, and I, I, as you can see, I'm once again I'm unemployed, so. Uh, I will attempt to uh, to get a job again tomorrow. I still hadn't quite worked out why I was unemployed, so uh, I will most likely make the same mistake. Right. So this is the the stat that I was uh, I was interested in. Uh, opinion. Opinion seems to go up as you help out other inmates. So. I don't know what's going to happen here. Presumably, if your opinion is high enough, they will give you better, um, better jobs. It makes sense, really, doesn't it? So there we go, nice and clean. And off we go to do something with the what I can't quite remember. So let's go and find out for ourselves. Oh yes, yeah, so I think I was trying to chase Sang down, and I didn't have much luck, if I remember. 
No. And to be totally honest with you, I, I, I really wish I could go back in time and tell myself, by the time I do find Sang, he's not selling anything anymore. Which was really quite disappointing. But on the bright side, I have a chance to have a look at these guys. And grab that bottle of sleeping pills. do something else. I was kind of hoping to have a walk around the uh, the side of the building but I think I got distracted. Yes uh, that's right I was still looking for a Sang. Okay while I'm wandering around looking for someone who I don't find until it's too late um, other things that are going to be happening on my channel. I've just about finished the first episode of a series of Kerbal Space Program which, uh, in which I've put together a few different mods that are actually going to make it much more basic at the start. Um, you, you don't start off with any way of steering or navigating. Basically the first, the first few um, launches are going to have to basically be missiles. You, you build up a little bit of science from that and eventually learn to steer and, and so on. In fact, it's going to be quite a while before I even get a Kerbal into space with this this particular method, but it uh, should be interesting to try anyway. So here we go, uh, evening roll call, and I believe we find Sang in a minute. What do we use the watch for? I presume it's just uh, one of those uh, items. You know, I've lost my watch, can you find it for me sort of thing. So, step ladder was really, really tempting, but as you can see, I've only got thirty-five dollars, so I can't quite afford that one. But I believe it's about now. I find Sang, and as you can see, he's not selling anything anymore. Just my luck. Uh, there we go. Poor Jared. Let me help you to your feet. Uh, actually, don't bother because you've got nothing worth stealing. Okay. So I decided not to put the bottle of sleeping pills in there because uh, last thing I want to do is have uh, contraband found in my jet cell. And here, this is where I find out you can pick up a desk. So that's great. When I start tunneling my way out, that's going to be underneath that desk at uh, I make the tunnel. Okay, so let's sleep until morning. If only lazing about in your bed would actually remove fat. I could really use that. I could really, really use that. So, I, um, I now I've seen that there's these crafting recipes you can buy. I'm really starting to get into the whole idea of buying stuff, but uh, unfortunately, I don't see anything. So this is another one of those times that I'm going to try to get a job during the employment the, during the work period but uh, um, once again I'm going to run into that bug where I'm not given a quota oh excuse me I just had a little bit of a, well quite a large bit of a yawn there to be honest with you uh, um, re-recording this gone midnight once I realized my mistake uh, so feeling a touch tired unfortunately Oh, oh yes, of course. I walked through a, um, a metal detector with a contraband item, didn't I? So, uh, all the guards jump on me. I'm glad I didn't pay that, pay for that. Uh, I, um, I know this is this, this early game, but, uh, oh, there we go. That was a short breakfast, wasn't it? I know this is early in the game, but, um, it would be nice if the guards could react in a, a bit of a more sophisticated manner, let's say. Right, so I can't get in there, and this is the point where I realise I'm unemployed, so I go and look for another job. There you go, unemployed. So, here we go, go and apply for another job. What do I go for? Which shop this time? 
Wood shop workers have a job of crafting furniture for sale on the outside. Take three timber from the wood pile and place them all in the crafting menu to craft a chair. Put the completed furniture in the assigned container. So I apply for that one. Obviously read that one slower last time. Congratulations, your job application was approved. If you fail to meet the quota during the work period, the job will be removed. So there we go, so I've got the job, but unfortunately I'm in the work period. So the chances of me actually doing anything with this is uh, is going to be slim to none, unfortunately. But, uh... Oh yes, that was another thing. For not getting to work I got beaten up by a guard, which made it even harder for me to get to work. It's an interesting mechanic, but it's a very, very frustrating sometimes, I have to be honest with you. So, I grab some logs. Oh, actually, I think I try to have a look above it first, and there's, there's no ducks or anything un above it. So, I grab some logs, craft one. Um, one chair. Go on, crafting, that's it. Three logs. There we go, and craft an unvarnished chair. So, put that away. I I wonder if you can take one of those. Now this is something that's worth trying in the next episode. I wonder if you can take one of those chairs. I don't know if you noticed the description was green, so therefore it's not a contraband item, if I understand right. Now I wonder if you can take those, put it down places, and use it to uh, look in vents. Certainly worth trying. There we go, putting those logs away. Now I've got quite a collection of contraband, and unfortunately most of it's duplicates, but uh, it's going to be interesting to try doing crafting with those. Let's see what I can get. There we go, crawl called again. Um, okay, other things that I'm doing at the moment. Um, have you guys heard of Space Engineers? It's another um, beta product. Um, basically, it's it could easily be, just be described as Minecraft in space. You... Um, Build, uh, build spaceships, build space, uh, space stations, and you can roleplay, or you can make warships and log on servers and shoot each other. It's, it's, it looks, it's turning out to be quite an interesting game. Now, I, I purchased this on Steam last weekend. Oh, a toothbrush! I purchased this on Steam last weekend, and um, I've been playing with it during the course of the week, and it's. Uh, got caught stealing there, didn't I? Now this is interesting. I got caught stealing, but I didn't lose the items because they're not contraband, which is slightly illogical. But I can see where you're going there. But still, I'm not going to complain because I actually wanted to try that toothbrush out with a crafting recipe. So anyway, yes. Um, okay, so here we are, crafting table. So I'm going to grab, from the suggestions of one of the viewers, I'm going to grab a lighter and a razor blade, and I'm going to try crafting those together. Uh, let's just quickly look at my notes to remind myself who suggested this one. And find that I've closed my notes. No, I haven't. There they are. I have too many tabs open. This was a suggestion by Jonah Margolis. Now, unfortunately, it didn't work, but it gave me a few other ideas as well. So. Um, basically what I'm trying to do here is is basically glue the razor blade to the toothbrush or I'm just about to try a comb see if basically if I can make a simple weapon out of it um, works about as well as you'd expect um, so yep that yeah so I try basically putty and uh, super glue, none of it seems to work. So I'm just going to pop those bottles back. I've had an idea for um, a crafting idea here, which I will try next episode. That's wire and battery. Now, if you use those plus, say, a comb or a toothbrush, um, you could perhaps make a magnet not entirely certain what you're going to do with it straight away but it's certainly going to be an interesting um, item to say the least I still think that sock is going to make an interesting weapon 
And what is intriguing me about this lot is if you look, the plunger has got 100% condition, which I'm not entirely certain what it means. Does it mean you can use it as a weapon? I suppose you could. Or are there are there things you can use the plunger for that um, that uh, will wear it down? I mean, I'm I'm really quite intrigued by that one. So it's going to be fun it's fun to experiment with that one and find out. Okay, so done a little bit of reading in the library. Off to dinner. There's nothing like turning pages to work on her appetite. Here we go. Ah, cool. It's brown slop again. Yum. Anyway, space engineers. Um, what I'm doing with that is I am going to uh, I'm going to play a few challenge maps and see how that goes. I, I don't think each individual playthrough is going to take particularly long, but um, it's a new game. It's slightly different. It might be interesting. Um, I hope that you guys will. Uh, We'll watch, we'll give me some feedback and let me know what you think. Oh, here we go. Another fight. They do like to fight in this place. So, here we go, guys. Let me help you to your feet. Let me help you with your broom. Let me help you with that pack of smokes. And I'm probably going to... No, there we go. Run away from the guard here. The guard doesn't come in here. I'm all right. So, there you go, pack of smokes for Ronald. Now all I need to do is find Ronald. I think I'm about to do something really stupid now. Yes, there we go. I've just set off the... Uh, I've just set off the uh, metal detector. So I've lost that roll of duct tape. Which is annoying because I can see that being so useful. But anyway, I'm going to go and have a quick look for Ronald now. Taint no Ronald there, taint no Ronald there, and it looks like um, everyone was feeling clean enough so they didn't go and bother showering today, so that's really what you want to hear when you're stuck in a confined area with lots of men, isn't it? They didn't bother to shower. Oh yes. I wonder how much aftershave costs in this place. So anyway, um, time to do a bit more exercise. Get work on some strength. I, I must admit, I do quite like this little mini game. It's it's very simple. It's quite easy to pick up. The the running one is is actually a hell of a lot harder because you've got to hit that Q and E a lot faster. I found. Um, but still, it, it's it's relatively easy to do. Uh, it's just a shame there isn't really a, a mini game for working on intelligence. You really just click on a bookshelf, count to ten, your intelligence goes up. Click on a bookshelf, count to ten, your intelligence goes up. Ooh, bleach. Um, I don't know what you could really do as a as a mini game there, but it's really going to be interesting to find out. And quite frankly, if you guys have any suggestions, please make a comment about it. Okay. Make a comment. We'll pass it on to uh, to Chris D. And uh, if he likes it, he likes it. If he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it. It's no harm, no foul, really, is it? Right. So now I'm going to do here is I'm going to take an inmate outfit and I'm going to bleach it. So inmate outfit bleach craft gives me a pair of overalls. So uh, pair of overalls, unfortunately, are red. Which un which means um, I can't run around wearing them and oh he okay fortunately I didn't have any contraband on me so I didn't lose anything there so anyway um, evening roll call and by this point I've actually worked out the little problem with the job so I think after this I'm going to go and apply for a job so here we go. Have a quick look at see what people have for sale. Duct tape. I don't have enough money for anything really at this point. So I'm going to have to start doing some jobs. Now hopefully I find Ronald. But I don't think I do. Because I've got a pack of smokes for him now. And that will earn me a little bit of money. Right. 
so there we go. There's the uh, evening roll call. There's the evening roll call fight. And let's see if these guys are alright. You alright, Buster? How are you? How are you? Uh, it's nothing sharp in your pockets, I see. That's good. What about you, Lance? Anything sharp in your pockets? Let me get rid of that bottle of bleach because that could cause you some problems there. Aren't I nice? So, totally forgetting the fact that I need to go into bed. Totally forgetting the fact that I need to go to bed. I start wandering around and applying for jobs. So, here we go. Alright, um, got way too much stuff now. So, I want to keep the broom and the bleach. So, I'm just going to uh, get rid of the soap, the toilet paper, and the toothpaste because those ones, quite frankly, easy to find. And I'll keep the smokes, but I'll put the other two items away. So that gives me a couple of spaces in my inventory. And off to bed. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna do roll call, and then I'm going to apply for another job. So that way, uh, yeah, here we go, another fight. So that way, um, I will actually get the, the job to do um, as opposed with the quota, hopefully. And, um, it's such a such an unfortunate little bug. There we go. I'm giving them the smokes. There we go, an extra twenty-one dollars. Now, the last auto save before the crash happened before this point, so you will see me give those smokes to Ronald again, I'm afraid. Um, uh, here we go. Uh, Tree Taylor's dice from Steve. Tell no, and that was annoying. Crafted some items, but the crafted items didn't appear in the craft notes. I've got to presume that those are only going to be those physical notes that you can buy or you see lying around are, are going to show up there which is, which is a shame really but I can understand why so here we go I decide to apply for a job before okay so workers in the metal shop are tasked with creating license plates for sale on the outside use sheet metal on the print press to create a license plate place completed plates back in the assigned container and this is where I learned something intellect is used for applying for jobs. You need at least 70% intellect to be eligible for the metal shop job. You can raise your intellect by reading in the library, which is what I'm going to go and do now. So here we go. Um, I think I've missed breakfast at this point. Intellect to 52, so I've got a wee bit to go. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what cutoffs um, the other jobs give you. Um, you know, will you, will, are you unable to work in the wood shop if you uh, have less than 50% intellect, say? Or, you know, will the laundry jobs dry up at 30%? So here we go. Picking up some uh, some intelligence here. Plus one. Plus two. Plus three. I mean, plus four. Now that's that's actually I think that's actually giving me more than four, but uh, uh, never mind. I don't mind in the slightest. That uh, seems to pick up quite quickly. Um, you know, I, I it is such a shame that there's 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 no interaction here. I mean, one idea that appeals to me is perhaps if you could take the book out and take it back to your cell and um, read it there, say. Uh, but again, that's uh, to be totally honest with you, that's just clicking on something but inside your cell as opposed to inside the library it's gonna be it's gonna be I think it's gonna be really hard to uh, work a mini game around this it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens so there we go intellect is 78 that is more than enough to apply for the job um, as long as I remember to do it before the start of the next day I shouldn't lose the job which uh, would be rather depressing if it happened now. So here we go. Lunch. Brown slop again. Uh, I, I just wonder who manufactures this brown slop. I mean, is there a, 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 you know, a brown slop department of uh, craft or you know, Findus or whoever? Um, you know, 
Yeah. We make disgusting meals for prisons. Now, I can't really see that as being a good advertising, really, can you? And this is about the point where everything goes wahoony shaped. So. Let's hope. This is and unfortunately this is the point where I decided to beat up Darren. And as soon as the uh, as soon as the roll call ends and everyone runs off, for some reason everything just dies, which is really rather depressing. But still, thank you very much for auto saving. That is really appreciated. Um, it's uh it means I've only lost a few minutes and I will play those again on Wednesday it time is almost up now so I'm gonna thank you very much for listening I apologize for the slightly rambling nature of the commentary because it's been posted and not live and that's a whole new set of skills I need to learn I hope you enjoyed it I hope you will I will see you again on Wednesday if you have any suggestions any crafting ideas any um, suggestions for ways to break out any any comments on gameplay any suggestions at all um, as I said any ideas that you'd like to be passed on to Chris D um, the least you can do is say no I'm not interested and I'm, I'm quite happy to do so incidentally uh, before I turn uh, uh, shut this one down um, I have set up a wiki a wiki page for the escapists I've got a lot of stuff on there a little bit more to do I'm hoping by Wednesday I'll have enough there to make it worth putting the link out um, it's going to be another location for us to uh, to put forward suggestions put forward bug reports and um, hopefully disseminate some ideas amongst each other now okay my time is up thank you very much for listening apologize again for the rambling but I hope it wasn't too disappointing good night <laughs>